odd memory. I can memorize a phone number in minutes and never forget it for the rest of my life, but most of my own childhood may as well have never happened because I can't remember most of it. And what with, spoiler alert, Coulson's revelation that his Tahiti memories are all a lie on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a few weeks ago, the idea of false memories has been on my mind. I have a few memories that I actually know aren't really memories. Stories told to me by my parents, coupled with information on the details pulled from my own knowledge of other sources come together to play out like a memory, but I don't actually remember the thing happening to me. For example, when I was three, my parents took me to Disney World for the very first time. I don't remember any of this, but I've been told many times that little three-year-old Shabnam had directly equated the existence of Disney World with the presence of Mickey Mouse. And so when we finally got to the park, and I didn't see Mickey Mouse, I flat out did not believe that we were in Disney World. And then, just as I had finished declaring that this could not possibly be Disney World, a Mickey Mouse character actor happened to show up, as if the park itself wanted to prove its presence to me. Which, of course, made my little three-year-old life. Now, like I said, I have no true recollection of this ever happening, but I know what Disney World and your average Mickey Mouse character actor looked like, and I know what my parents would have looked like at the time from pictures, and I know what I would have sounded like and my mannerisms and how I would have said these things based on home movies, and so with all of that put together, I can easily picture this event in my mind, despite not actually being able to remember it for real. My brain just filling in all the details based on the assumption that my mom didn't, like, make the whole thing up. I have a lot of pseudo-memories like this, actually, and I can't be the only one, right? Anyway, I've experienced things like this for years, but the idea of inventing specific memories to fill in the gaps in someone's recollection had never even occurred to me until, like, college for some reason. But once the phenomenon had entered my head, I couldn't get it unstuck, and I got to thinking about it, and I realized that it's actually pretty easy to tell which ones are augmented memories and which ones are true recollections, for me at least. See, when I think about that Disney World story I told you about, I don't see the event happening from three-year-old me's perspective, like through my eyes at the time. I see it play out in front of me like a movie, including three-year-old me as a visible character in the third person. This doesn't happen in any of my genuine memories, because I'm obviously not able to see myself in the third person out-of-body experience style while I'm doing stuff, right? So now whenever I'm thinking about something that happened to me in the past, I try and pay attention to how I'm remembering it, like can I see myself or not, to try and test if I'm actually remembering it at all. But like, what even is memory though? If it definitely 100% happened, you know for a fact, and you just kind of have an alternate version of that thing that happened to you in your head based on definite facts from other sources, could it maybe still count as a real memory? Or is it like an adaptation of a memory? Same basic plot, slightly different visuals? I'm gonna stop before I break my own brain. Anyway, have you ever had possibly false memories like this? Like, do you know what I'm even talking about? Like, I can't be the only one, right? And, what do you think constitutes a false memory versus a true one? Mm -hmm. Questions to think about for you. What? The human brain is crazy, man. I don't even know what... Ugh. Peace, love, geekdom. Bye! Bonk.